Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of my online lectures. Okay, so uh, in this episode, uh, I'll be discussing and solving some elementary applications of the integral. Okay, so if you recall, in the previous video, uh, pinag-aralan natin kung paano mag-integrate ng mga basic functions. Okay, yung pinaka-basic. Ngayon naman, para mas ma-appreciate natin kung saan ginagamit ang integration, no? minarapat kong singitan ng applications yung topic bago tayo pumunta sa mas complicated topics sa subject na ito. Ano? That's why for today, our topic is elementary applications of the integral. Okay? So, I have here four problems and yung tatlo, ito, pinakita ko dito. No? Para sa bungad pa lang, alam na natin kung ano yung mga problems na ating isasolve. Okay? So here, our first problem is about uh, finding the equation of a curve. The next one is actually a differential equation. No? Biruin mo. <coughs> Hindi ka pa nagdi-differential equations pero ngayon tuturuan na kita kung paano mag-solve ng basic DE gamit ang integration. No? And uh, dito meron naman tayong projectile problem. Okay? So if you recall the projectile problem in differential calculus, we also have projectile problem in integral calculus. Dito lang pabalik. No. So dati kasi given sa iyo yung halimbawa um position function, hahanapin yung velocity at saka acceleration. Ngayon naman pabalik, no? Knowing the acceleration, we can now determine the velocity and the position function. Okay? So simulan na natin ang pagsosolve ng mga problems na ito para ma-demonstrate ko sa inyo kung paano ginagamit at saan ginagamit itong mga integral na ito, itong mga bulate na ito. Okay? Game number one. Okay, so find the equation of a curve that passes through 2, 4. Okay, palabasin natin itong uh, pointer na ito. Find the equation of a curve that passes through 2, 4 if its slope at every point is 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. Okay, so dito ang hinahanap equation ng curve. Yung daw curve na yun, dumaan sa point na 2, 4. At ang slope niya at every point is... Uh, this should be any. At any point is 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. Okay? So, how do we solve this problem? Okay? Paano ba natin ito isosolve? Okay? So, we can recall a basic uh, concept in uh, differential calculus which tells us that the slope, sulat tayo, <coughs> the slope of a curve at, bakit naman nun? Parang ikaw. <laughs> curve at a point or at any point is represented by its if you recall what is what uh represents the slope of a curve at any point in differential calculus that is represented by its first derivative basic po yun ano basic okay so then if the slope at any point is given as 3x squared minus 4x plus 1, then this must be the first derivative of the function that we're looking for. No? If that is so, then we write y prime equal to 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. Okay? So, bakit nga po yung slope no, ay equal sa first derivative. No? Now, ano bang hinahanap natin? Hinahanap natin yung equation ng curve. So, that equation must be y as a function of x. No? How can we get y as a function of x if we have y prime? Of course, we need to integrate. No? So, to do that, we have to write the y prime as dy over dx. No? So, this becomes 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. No? And I can multiply both sides by dx. So, I will get dy equals sa quantity 3x squared minus 4x plus 1 multiplied by dx. Okay. So, I can now integrate both sides. No? Integrate ko yan para makuha ko yung y. No? So, integrating both sides, term by term, we'll get 3x cubed over 3. Or, that is simply x cubed minus 4x squared over 2. So, that's just 2x squared. And then plus, okay, integral ng 1. Of course, that's just x. And then plus a certain arbitrary constant c. Okay? So, what we obtain here is a family of curve. Ano? Kasi nga, meron tayo ditong arbitrary constant na c. 
Okay? Now, para malaman natin yung value ng arbitrary constant, kinakailangan nating i-impose yung condition sa problem. Ano ba yung condition sa problem? Sabi niya, yung daw curve, dumaan dito. No? So, itong nakuha natin is a family of curves. Marami sila. So, sa kanila, alin doon ang dumaan dito sa 2-4? No? Para malaman natin, kinakailangan gamitin mo yung 2-4. No? Kung saan yung 2 ay value ng x at yung 4 ay value ng y. So, substitute mo lang dito yan. No? Itong y, gawin ko lang 4. At itong dalawang x dito, gagawin ko lang siyang 2. Okay? So, gawin natin 4 is equal to 2 cube minus 2 times 2 squared plus 2 plus C. Okay. So, let us uh, simplify. 4 equals 2 cube is 8 minus 2 squared is 4 times 2 is also 8. And then, we have plus 2 and then plus C. So, these two will cancel each other and then 4 Minus 2 will be equal to 2. So that the value of C is equal to 2. Okay, so we're now able to get and obtain the value of C. So dahil dyan, substitute ko na siya dito. At isusulat ko na yung final answer natin. So yung hinahanap natin curve, ito yung equation. Y equals, ito siya, kopyahin ko lang. So x cubed, no? Minus 2x squared, no? And then plus x and then plus yung value nung sina na compute natin equal na lang sa 2. Okay, so ito na po yung hinahanap nating equation nung curve na dumaan sa 2, 4, no? Na ang slope daw at every point ay 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. Okay? Actually, pwede nating i-verify kung tama ang ating sagot, no? So, kung nakuha na natin yung equation, tingnan nga natin kung ang, kung ang slope niya at any point is equal to 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. So, paano yun? I-differentiate mo lang. No? Kunin mo yung y prime. Dapat ito yung makukuha mong y prime. So, pag di-differentiate natin to 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. Of course, the derivative of 2 is 0. So, sa tama lang. No? So, kapag di-differentiate natin ito, dapat ang makukuha natin is yung given na slope na nagre-represent sa y prime. Okay? O, diba madali lang? No? Madali lang. Ngayon, Gawin natin visual ito no, para ma-appreciate ma ma nyo kung uh, anong itsura nung kinumpute natin. So, yan yung given na parabola. Ang, nire an ang nire-represent niyan yung slope ng curve na hinahanap natin. No? Yan yung given. No? So, itong kulay blue na to, ito ngayon yung hinahanap nating curve. Ito yung graph nito ng x cubed minus 2x squared, no? which is a cubic function. No? Pag nag-integrate ka ng quadratic, natural ang makukuha mo cubic. So, ito na yung graph nung hinahanap nating curve. Ayun, no? dumaan sa dito sa point na to, which is 2, 4. No? Para sa naman tong horizontal line na to. So, this horizontal line represents the slope of the tangent line. No? Diba? First derivative. No? So, makikita natin, nagbabago-bago yung uh, point kung nasaan yung uh, hinahanap. Uh, violet. No? So, that means that at this point, ang first derivative ng kulay blue ito. Yung green na to. No? Okay? So, yun lang ibig sabihin. Nun, no? So, ayan. Nagbabago-bago siya. Dito, ang first derivative ng blue, ito. Okay? First derivative dito, andito naman. Okay? So, pinakita lang natin graphically para mas ma-appreciate nyo. Ano ba itong mga pinagagawa kung ito sa tunay na buhay? Anong itsura nila? Ah, ba? So, I hope uh, naintindihan nyo kung paano mag-solve ng equation ng curve at na-appreciate na nyo kung uh, ano yung slope ng tangent line nung ma-visualize natin dito sa example na ito. Kung ano ang itsura ng uh, kung anong value ng derivative no? at any point. Okay? Sige. Next problem na. Now, in this second problem, magsusolve naman tayo ng isang simple differential equation. Now, simple lang. No? <laughs> Bakit? Kasi hindi pa naman talaga ito differential equation na subject. May subject kayo para doon. No? But as early as now, I, I want to introduce to you how we can use uh, integration no, in solving differential equations. Okay, so this is the problem. No? Solve the initial value problem. Y prime equals 1 over square root of x. Given that uh, y of 0 is equal to 4. 
Okay, so, sir, ano ba yung initial value problem? Actually, an initial value problem is a differential equation, no? With a certain initial condition. So, ito po yung initial condition. Bakit po initial? Initially, the value of x is 0. So, when x is 0, this means that the value of y equals 4. Okay? <laughs> so, how do we solve a DE? Now, basically, a differential equation in itself is a question no? that requires a solution. It's a problem. No? Kapag binigyan ka ng DE problem na mismo yon kahit walang sinabi sa'yo, kailangan niya solution. Sir, ano ba yung solution ng isang differential equation? Okay, so magsulat ulit tayo. No? So, the solution of a differential equation, sulat natin dito, is basically a function, no? y equals f of x that satisfies the d okay so kung ito yung differential equation ano daw yung y equals f of x na magsasatisfy dito sa y prime na ito no so kung given ang y prime kagaya nung ginawa natin kanina kukunin ulit natin yung y no yung makukuha natin na y Para masabi natin na sa ay solution ng DE, kinakailangan uh, mag-satisfy sa dito. Anong ibig sabihin ng mag-satisfy? Kapag kinuha mo pala yung Y, di ba may makukuha tayo na Y. Na, kapag nakuha mo yung Y na yon kunin mo ulit yung Y prime. Na, at dapat ito yung makukuha mo. Okay? Para masabi natin na nag-satisfy siya sa DE. And once na siya ay nag-satisfy, only then we can say that it is the solution of AD. Okay, so now how do we solve the problem? Okay, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, i-express muna natin yung y prime as first derivative, no? dy over dx equals 1 over square root of x. And of course, this 1 over square root of x can be written as x to the negative 1 half. Okay, and uh, again, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, no? same lang, no? Uh, we multiply both sides by dx so that we will get dy equals x to the negative 1 half dx. And then, we will integrate both sides. Kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, wala masyadong bago dito. So, integrating both sides, we will get y equals the integral of x to the negative 1 half. Anong integral ng x to the negative 1 half? Of course, negative 1 half plus 1 is 1 half. So, that's x to the 1 half over 1 half, no? Plus C. Or, we can simply write this as 2x to the 1 half plus C. Okay. So, if you recall in the previous problem, after natin mag-integrate, may nakuha tayong arbitrary constant, kagaya nito. No? And paano nga natin kinocompute yung value ng arbitrary constant? Kung ano man ang condition na given sa problem, isa substitute mo lang or i-impose mo. No? So, okay. In this problem, ano ang condition na ibinigay niya? No? Ito o, oh, initial condition. Y of 0 equals 4, which means that when x is 0, y is 4. So, substitute lang natin yung x equals 0 no, dito at yung y equals 4 doon. Okay? So, we can get the value of c. Okay? So, y equals 4 and then that's equal to 2 times 0, of course, raised to 1 half and then plus c. Of course, very obviously, the value of c equals 4. Okay? So, now, we can write down the final answer. No? The solution of the differential equation is y equals 2x to the 1 half plus 4. Okay? Or we can write this as yung x to the 1 half. Pwede natin isulat as square root. 2 times the square root of x plus 4. Okay? So this is now what we call the solution of the differential equation. Okay? Now, paano natin mapuprove? na ito ay solution ng differential equation na given. Ha? Simple lang. Kunin mo lang yung y prime nito. And I'm pretty sure, pag kinuha mo yung y prime niya, ang makukuha mo sagot ay 1 over square root of x. Okay? So, ba? Madali lang. Okay? Ganun lang kadali mag-solve ng differential equation. But of course, in reality, not all differential equations are as simple as this. This is just a simple basic differential equation na ginamit ko para mai-illustrate sa inyo na ang pag integrate pala ay nagagamit para makuha ang solution ng isang differential equation. Okay? How about an I wait lang? Meron pala tayo ditong graph. No? So, ito yung graph. 
Actually, ito ay parabola. Kaso nga lang kalahati kasi may square root dito. By default kasi, uh, kapag square root ito, lagi ang positive. Unless kung yan ay negative, ay di makukuha natin yung half portion ng parabola na nasa baba. Okay? So, ito po yung graph nung nakuha nating solution. Okay? So, kung yan ay silang, ibig sabihin, family of curves yan. Maraming parabola na ganyan ang itsura. No? Pero, alin yung kapag ang x ay 0, ang y ay 4? Ito yun. Isa lang siya. So, that means that the solution is unique. Now, okay. Next. Isa pang DE. Okay, isa pang DE. O, ito ang problem. Solve the initial value problem. Y prime equals cosine x plus 2 such that y of 0 is equal to 1. <coughs> okay, so once again, anong sinabi ko sa inyo kanina? Kapag ikaw ay binigyan ng differential equation, yun na mismo yung tanong no? na nangangailangan ng solution. And remember that the solution, again, the solution of a DE is a function y equals f of x that satisfies the given d. Okay? And yung solution naman, kagaya pa rin nung ginawa natin kanina, we express y prime as dy over dx no? equals cosine x and then plus 2. Okay? And then from that, we get y we multiply both sides by dx, no? So, dy equals cosine of x and then plus 2 dx. And then, integrating both sides, we will get y equals integral of cosine x, of course, is sine x. And then, integral ng 2, of course, that's 2x. And then, uh, again, you do not forget the arbitrary constancy, Okay? arbitrary constant tayo. And once again, para makuha ang value ng arbitrary constant, no, anong ginagawa natin? To get the value of the arbitrary constant, we use the initial condition given. Ito po yung initial condition, no? Ah, uh, kapag daw ang x ay 0, ang y ay equal sa 1. So we have 1 equals sine of 0 plus 2 times 0 plus c. Okay, so sine of 0, of course, 0 yan. 2 times 0, 0 din. So the value of c is equal to 1. And now, since we already know the value of c, sa substitute mo na lang siya dito. No? Para maisulat natin ngayon yung solution. No? Okay, so here, uh, we just copy sine x plus 2x and plug in the value of the arbitrary constant which is 1. Okay? Now for your information guys, Yung nakukuha nating solution, solution din ito ng DE. Kaso nga lang, uh, kapag ka ang solution ng DE ay may arbitrary constant, ang tawag natin sa kanya ay general solution. No? So, the general solution of a DE therefore represents a family of curves. No? Eh sir, ano naman ang tawag mo sa ganyang solution kapag ka nalaman mo na yung value ng arbitrary constant? Yan naman ang tinatawag natin na particular solution. Okay? So, uh, you learn more about general and particular solution when you uh, take the course differential equation. And of course, that's after differential calculus. Lagay natin dito, this is the general solution and this is what we call the particular no? solution. Okay? <laughs> so, uh, ulitin ko lang ha. Kapag ka binigyan ka ng DE, wait lang, wala pa tayo dyan. Kapag binigyan ka ng differential equation na may given initial condition, ang tawag natin doon ay initial value problem. So, this is an initial value problem. No? Okay? Puntahan, na. Puntahan natin yung last example. No? Projectile problem naman. Okay. Now, uh, sa differential calculus, uh, ang projectile problem, usually ang given ay position. Tapos, i-differentiate mo yung position, makukuha mo ang velocity. ba? Pag nakuha mong velocity, differentiate mo ulit yun. Of course, with respect to time, makukuha mo na ang acceleration. So, ngayon, baliktad. No? So, kung hindi given ang acceleration, then it must be implied as a constant. No? And then, makukuha mo ang velocity hanggang makuha mo ang uh, position function. No? So, dati, kung uh, ang given ay uh, position, nagdi-differentiate tayo para makuha ang acceleration. Di po ba? 
uh, position na kukuha natin. Madi-differentiate tayo ng position para makuha ang velocity. Ngayon naman, pabalik. mag integrate tayo. So, mula sa acceleration, i-integrate mo siya, makukuha mo yung velocity. integrate mo yung velocity, makukuha mo ang position. Okay? So, ito yung problem. A stone is thrown straight up with an initial velocity of 128 feet per second from a height of 16 feet. Okay? So, meron daw tayong bato, itinapon mo pataas, no? Straight upward, ang initial velocity niya, 128 feet per second from a height of 16 feet. Okay? So, halimbawa, kung magdo-drawing tayo dyan, halimbawa, <coughs> ito ang ground, ito ang reference, no? So, hindi siya itinapon mula sa ground, itinapon sa at a height of 16 feet, no? So, ayan. So, mula dito hanggang doon, meron na tayong initial position YO equal sa 16. Okay? Tapos ito, tatapon mo pataas with a certain... Pangit yun ah. <laughs> pataas with a certain initial velocity VO na magkano daw? 128 feet. Pangit. Pawiin natin. 128 feet per second. So, dito English units tayo, ha? Okay, next. Ano ang mga tanong dito? What is the maximum height reached? Okay? And then after that, may tanong pa dito, when did it hit the ground? Okay? So, to solve this problem, we need to recall the relationship between uh, position, ano pa, uh, velocity and acceleration. No? So, basic na basic yung mga yan. No? Ano bang relationship sa kanila? No? Halimbawa, if y is the position function no? and v is the velocity, how are they related? If we recall the very basic relationship of position and velocity in differential calculus, we say that v is equal to dy over dt. No? Now, if I have the acceleration a, no? you get the acceleration by getting the derivative of the velocity. Okay? So now, paano natin ito masosolve? No? Nung nagtapon ka kasi ng object upward, ang given lang sa kanya initial velocity niya at saka yung initial height kung saan siya itinapon. 16 feet daw mula sa ground. Okay? So, ang itinatanong na sa atin ay maximum height. Okay? At alam na naman natin sa maximum height, ang velocity ay 0. Okay? So, we know that at the maximum height, which is y max, the velocity is equal to 0. Kasi nga, ang object, no, kapag ka itinapon mo pataas, babagal siya ng babagal because uh, of the acceleration due to gravity. And once it reaches the maximum height, alimbawa, ito yun, no? This is your y max. Doon ang velocity niya ay mag C0. Okay? So ngayon, mm -hmm. Paano natin yan isosolve? So, you have to know that uh, this object is accelerating no? in a negative manner. Bakit po? Because the acceleration no, is due to gravity. No? The acceleration is due to gravity which is always directed downwards. Okay? So, ngayon, aha, we know that the acceleration is a constant no? And since uh, English units ang ginagamit natin, no? We use the acceleration 32 na lang, wag na yung point 2, no? Para mas uh, simple, no? I-round off natin ang acceleration instead of 32 point 2, 32 na lang feet per second squared. Now, uh, how is the acceleration related to the velocity? Remember that a is equal to dv over dt. Okay? So, from that, we can actually obtain the velocity function dv equals uh, a dt. So, to get v, we have to integrate the acceleration. Okay? So, and knowing the value of the acceleration, which is actually negative 32. Bakit po negative? Because it's directed downwards. Okay? Negative 32 dt. Okay? So, compute natin ngayon ang velocity function no so the velocity function is negative 32 times t plus c okay so 
how do we now get the value of the arbitrary constant? There must be some initial condition, no? Ano bang initial condition na binigay para sa velocity? Ayun, no? VO is 128, which means that when T is 0, no, the velocity is 128. So when T is equal to 0, the velocity is 128. So we impose the initial condition, 128 is equal to negative 32 times 0 plus C. Of course, obviously, the value of C here is equal to 128. So now, we have the velocity function V of T. No? And the velocity function is negative 32t plus 128. Okay, so we now have the velocity function. Now, uh, after knowing the velocity function, we know that at the maximum height, the velocity is 0. Okay, knowing that, so find the position function. So, dito natin ituloy, na. No? Sulat ko lang ha, yung velocity function V of t is equal to negative 32t plus 128. Negative 32t negative plus 128. Okay, now, at the maximum height, y max, we know that the velocity is 0. So, equate lang natin to sa velocity. Or sa 0, rather. So, negative 32t plus 128. Kaganon yung 8 ko. 128 is equal to 0. And finally, we can now solve for the value of t. Okay? So, solving for the value of t. Okay, so solving solving for the value of t, 128 divided by 32, we will get an answer equal to 4. Okay, sulat natin dito. Ayan. So the value of t is equal to 4. So anong ibig sabihin ng nakuha natin t is equal to 4? Yan yung time nung narating ng object ang maximum height. No, so that means 4 seconds nung narating niya ang maximum height. Okay? Now, time when y max is reached. Okay? However, hindi pa natin nakukuha yung hinahanap. Ang sabi dito, what is the maximum height? Okay? What is the maximum height? So we need to determine the uh, function for the position. No? Okay. So, how do we get the position function? Which is y. y is equal to f of t. Yan ang kinakailangan mong malaman. Kasi yan ang magsasabi sa atin ng height ng object. Okay? So, remember that uh, the velocity is related to the position by the equation v equals dy over dt. Okay? So, knowing v as a function of t, we can now obtain y, okay, by integrating the velocity function, no? So, y is equal to the integral of the velocity function, which is negative 32t plus 128, okay? So, lagyan natin ang differential of time doon. Now, integrating negative 32t squared over 2 plus 128t and then plus c. Okay? We can simplify this. y equals 32 over 2 is 16. So, negative 16t squared plus 128t and then plus c. Okay. So, now, we, we have an arbitrary constant again. And to get the, arbit the arbitrary constant, we will impose an initial condition. Now, ano ang initial condition given sa y? So, kung babalikan natin yung problem kanina, now, initially daw po, yung value ng y ay 16. Kasi siya ay itinapon initially at a height of 16 feet. Okay? So, yun yung initial value ng y. Nagagamitin natin para makuha ang value ng c dito. Now, okay. So, initially, y is 16. Now, so, that is when the time is 0 plus 128. Pangit yung 8. Ulitin natin. 
P and uh, 0 na to. Okay? 0 plus C. Okay. So, 0 to. 0 yan. So, the value of uh, C is 16. Now, as we can see. Now, we can write the position function Y. We have now negative 16 T squared plus 128 T. And then plus 16. Okay? So, this is now what we call the position function. Now, kung gusto mong malaman kung ano ang maximum height, no? Y max, substitute mo lang yung value ng T kung kailan narating ang maximum height. Okay? Which is, na-compute na natin kanina. Ang value ng time kung kailan narating ang maximum height ay 4 seconds. So, lagay lang natin dito, negative 16, and then, we have 4 squared plus 128 times 4 plus 16. Now, we will get an answer equal to, compute natin yan, <coughs> negative 16 times 4 squared is 16 plus 128 times 4 and then plus 16, we'll get 272. Okay? So, this is 272. Ayan, nakuha na natin yung isa sa mga itinatanong, no? Ano daw ang maximum height na na-reach? So, the answer to letter A is <laughs> uh, 272 feet. Next, when did it hit the ground? When did it hit the ground? Okay. So, uh, when the object hit the ground, of course, its height no? from the ground is actually zero, no? Kasi, nung nasa ground na yung object, ang height niya, 0 na. Okay? So, ang gagawin lang natin, gagawin mo lang y equals 0. And then, you will solve for t. Okay? Solve natin yan sa sunod na slide. Negative 16t squared plus 128t plus 16. Na? Kakalimutin ako. Anong sabi niya? Negative 16t squared. y of t equals negative 16 t squared plus no ayon <laughs> 128 t plus 16 okay on the ground of course the value of y is 0 okay kaya ito equate lang natin sa 0 no which will give us a quadratic equation no na 16 t squared minus 128 t and then to plus so maging minus minus 16 equals 0 now which we can divide 128 divided by 16 that will give us 8 now so dividing both sides by 16 we'll have t squared minus 8 t minus 1 equals 0. Okay? So, try nga natin kung ito ay... Uh, solve natin yung value ng t, no? Okay? So, kapag sinolve natin ang value ng t dito, may makukuha tayong dalawang values kasi quadratic yan, ano? Makukuha natin ay 4 plus square root of 17, which is 8 point. Sulat natin, t sub 1 is 8.12 and t sub 2 4 minus square root of 17 that's uh, negative 0 0.12 okay so uh, this is the uh, logical answer okay bakit uh, the time cannot be negative no so we can imagine that uh, ito yon ito yung ground initially yan tapos initially andito yung object no 16 feet na agad siya mula sa ground. Okay? And then, narating niya daw ang maximum height after. So, from here to there, we have 4 seconds. Ayan. Tapos, mula dito, pababa. No? So, obviously, dapat greater than 4 yon, Kasi nga, mula dito hanggang doon, 4 seconds pa rin yan. Okay? So, our answer is just logical. No? 
So, mula dito hanggang doon, that means inabot siya ng around 0.12 seconds. So, 4 seconds pataas and more than 4 seconds pababa. Why? Because the path downward now from the maximum height towards the ground is longer than the initial path because initially it's elevated by 16 feet. Okay? So, that's it. Now, uh, meron pa bang itinatanong na hindi natin nasagot kanina? When did it the ground after 8.12 seconds? Find the position function. Okay, actually we're able to obtain the position function na. No? So, this is our position function, y of t. Halimbawa, tinanong ka niya, what is the height of the projectile at any given time? Substitute mo lang yung value ng time, malalaman mo na yung height niya o yung kanyang position. Okay? So, di ba madali lang? Okay? So, uh, kinakailangan lang kapag hindi ka pa sanay no? mag-solve ng ganitong klaseng problems, mag-practice ka lang hanggang sa ikaw ay maging uh, proficient at maging uh, hokage ka na rin sa pagsusolve ng mga ganyang problems. Okay? Now, uh, itong problem na to, nasusolve to sa physics ng uh, formula-based. Okay? So, if you recall, yung mga formula natin na Vf is equal to Vi plus 80. No? And then we have, uh, ano nga yun? Y is equal to VIT plus one half AT squared. No? Pakita ko lang sa inyo ha. Ayan no, ito yun no. <laughs> initial velocity. No? Di ba initial velocity nun is 128? Ayan, 128 T plus one half times. Anong acceleration due to gravity? Negative 32. No? And then T squared. Of course, plus... Initially kasi, ang height niya ay 16. Ayan. Okay, so we have y equals 128t minus 32 over 2 is 16 t squared plus 16. Actually, ito ay nakuha na natin kanina. No, by means of integration. Okay, but as I was saying, uh, kung familiar ka sa mga formula sa physics, ng kinematics, makukompute mo rin yung problem kahit hindi ka na mag-integrate. So that's just an alternative solution. But of course, in this topic, our, uh, or in this uh, episode of our, my lecture video, our topic is to demonstrate to you how to use integration no? para masolve ang ganitong klaseng projectile problem. Okay, so... Uh, see you again in my next video. Bye!